Yeah, uh, so the TSA, the tax, a tax stabilization agreement is a long-term agreement between the city and the developer so that there's predictability over 10, 12, 15 years um, how, many, how much taxes you're going to pay over that period of time. This is a tool that has been used to spur development all over the United States. The problem is that in, in Rhode Island, and particularly in Providence, it's the only tool that has been used. It's become a crutch. It's more than a tool, it's a crutch. We talk about having an economic development toolbox, you open it up, and the only thing that's in there is a TSA. And that's what we have to get away from, because these TSAs have been used to the point where wealthy developers and their well-connected lobbyists know that the first thing they're gonna do before they open their mouth about any new construction is negotiate a TSA. And we have examples on College Hill, right off uh, Sayer Street, of developments excellent developments that were built with zero TSAs. Zero TSA. So it's false that this is the only way we can build. Uh, the TSA is a tool and we need to get away from using that tool. Yes, there are opportunities to use TSA models to build affordable housing. Yes, there are opportunities for people to develop in Providence without TSAs. What we should be doing is we should fi be figuring out how to reallocate our resources and how to improve the delivery of city services so that we don't have to rely on that single crutch like we've relied for the last 20 years. Because guess what has happened in the past? People who got TSAs 20 years ago, when those TSAs were about to expire, they go back to the city and they're like, oh, poor me, I can't sustain my business without keeping the taxes at that level. So the TSAs were renewed. And now that we have gradually reducing TSAs, they come out with a new scheme that says, oh, we're going to turn part of our building into student housing, and that way we qualify for a state program that continues to subsidize our taxes, while people like me and you, who own a triple-decker or a single-family house, we get no TSAs. We get no tax breaks. We get nothing. We pay the full bill, and that is unacceptable.